it's changing, it's, it's improving as more and more Malays join the party. So when I say urban, this one, uh, it's people who are, I suppose, uh, more exposed, more educated, come from uh, uh, urban centres. I think uh, the acceptance or the fact that a Malay person joins the DAP is not something that is so out there that it becomes a curiosity, that it becomes something like, why did you do it? Okay. It's become, it's become um, like... It's just more acceptable. More acceptable, that? yeah. Like, for example, people who live in a Pakatan state, like Slango, yeah, Slango. right? You know, they could see that actually, yeah, the DAP is part of the government. Uh, you know, there's no uh, issue of suddenly the Azan being being uh, uh, banned or anything like that in Penang, for example, which is one of the uh, urban myths that our opponents like to peddle. Uh, so they are more, I, I, I suppose, younger people are more accepting of that. But of course, there's always issues. Um, and, and these days, I, from what I notice is that whenever we get attacked, especially from, from uh, younger people, it's not because we are the DAP, but because we are certain issues that they might not agree with us. You know, if someone comes up with a statement, then we get attacked. It's not because we are attacked because we are the DAP. It's just that because the issues that have been raised, it's not agreeable. Uh, that's from, from my observation, uh, at least. But of course, there's still issues with um, the acceptance, generally amongst Malays, uh, in the urban area, uh, in the rural areas, maybe places which are uh, you know, more detached uh, from, from a DAP, uh, seat or a government, and maybe it's less uh, accepting. But I would say that it's all. It's, it's going to be a. It's, it's changing. Improving. It's it's improving, okay. as more and more Malays join the party, uh, and I also think that as more and more leaders emerge, who are Malays, in the party. So it's easy, for example, when people want to see, want to say, okay. What's an example of a Malay in the AP? It's easy for us to just show at people like Rara, people like Sheikh Omar, you know. These are people who are now leaders in the party. Uh, they are Malay. And, you know, they, are, uh, they represent a certain type of Malay. Right? And I think it's also important for us to know that, you know, when you talk about Malay society, it's such a diverse Yes. group of people. It's difficult. It, we shouldn't actually ca get into this uh, trap of thinking that Malay is this big polity. Of, so there are various uh, different backgrounds uh, and, and I think that is also reflected in our party, the Malays that join our party. Yeah. So I think, I think that the fact that they, are, they, are, they have leaders such as uh, your Raras, your Sheikh Umars, um, you know, Dusun Tua, Edri, uh, you know, and other leaders who have uh, emerged uh, from, from the DAP, I think that helps a lot in terms of uh, changing the mindset of, uh, or changing the perception of the party amongst Malays.